Last week in the Pro League Model Dirt Series, Louisiana native Chase Wascom picked up the inaugural checkered flag with a win at Volusia Speedway Park. Wascom held off Travis Smith and Justin Gledhill to pick up the feature win in the 50-lap main event. Now, the series heads to USA International Speedway, where the high-speed, long straightaways will make for another exciting Wednesday night of action. It's round two of Speed Weeks 2020, presented by American Racer Tires. It's the Pro Late Model Dirt Series, powered by Torque Graphics on the Turn 3 Racing Network, and it starts now. Are you wanting your business to stand out? Well, now is the time to get torqued. Torque Graphics in Greenville is your one-stop shop for everything in the graphic design world. Josh Myers can take your business to the next level. Torque Graphics specializes in screen printing for your business, your hobby, or just you. Torque Graphics can even take care of all your motorsports needs. For top quality products, affordable pricing, and great customer service, call Torque Graphics today. Kabang Energy Candy contains 100% of vitamins B6, B12, and C, plus ginseng. And the best part is no caffeine. Kabang Energy Candy is sold everywhere, including participating Walgreens. Kabang Energy Candy, it's bangalicious. Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, Turn 3 Racing Network, that's right, Wednesday night, Pro Late Model Series, powered by Torque Graphics here on Turn 3 Racing Network, round two of the 2020 Speed Weeks here at USA International, gonna be one heck of a show, that is guaranteed, drivers did an fantastic job last week putting on a whale of a show we had slide jobs we had cushion pushing we had some beating and banging as well should we see some of that continue tonight mm. well where there's dirt there's a possibility that is for sure 12 minutes remaining here in the hot lap sessions before we head down track side to find out who will be the Kabang Energy Energy Candy, I about said Energy Series. The Kabang Energy Candy fastest qualifier that went to Chase Wascom last week doing a heck of a job. Also walking away with the race win was Wascom, so he's going to look to repeat that here tonight at USA and we'll see who we've got down there on track looks like we've got a few drivers possibly out there Shaking down the cars one last time. So we'll take a look at everything on track Looks like Dave Watziger is out there on track putting down some laps. So we'll let you watch him for just a brief moment And we can expect to see this cushion get pushed very very high throughout the the heat races and into tonight's main event uh the the cushion in the track it is always changing always evolving and that's something that these pro late model drivers have to adapt to have to learn how to run the cushion when you need to or slide job that thing on through turn two or four to try to get yourself to the front gonna go ahead and do a little bit of official business here tonight from USA International Speedway down here in Lakeland Florida points standings after round one in speed weeks 2020 presented by American racer tires chase waste Wascom sitting on top of the board getting not only not only the race win not only a heat win, but also that Kabang Energy Candy fastest qualifier. So 
Wascom doing a fine job early in the season. There you see a few rookies. We'll put them out if they're a little bit hard for you. There you see just inside the top five, Trevor Collins, one of the rookies. There you see the R out to the side of his name. Going to clean that up a little bit for you next week. Make that a little bit more visible. Matthew Setzer, also a rookie, sitting inside that top 15. So, rookies showing well so far this season, but we've got a few veterans that they're going to have to deal with. Travis Smith, Jacob Lasseter, Hunter Marvel, Brian Muskell Jr., all sitting inside the top 10, and the wild child himself, Cody Early, sitting in 13th position. Shout out to Curly. Uh, to Curly. <laughs> Shout out to Cody Early. Uh, man, it's it's been good seeing you back on track, my man. That's that that is a good good feeling to see you out there tearing up the track once again. We'll go back out trackside as we we get a little bit busier here with hot laps running out on us. So drivers, a lot of drivers out there trying to get a just a little bit more feel for what's gonna happen when maybe this track. Slicks up a little bit. There you see Dave Wadziger going down pit road. We'll jump out keep an eyeball here on Damian Patton in his 51 machine trying to shake it out right there. Patton doing a good job, but losing a little bit of ground. It looks like running that low line, but this is only hot laps. We've still got eight and a half minutes remaining before these drivers will pull them straps real tight. Slam their helmet down and get after it for two laps to see who will take the Kabang Energy Candy fastest qualifier. Kabang Energy Candy is packed with vitamin B12, B6, C plus ginseng, caffeine free at that so you can never go wrong with that. Kabang, the number one energy candy in the world. Check them out. You can find them in a lot of your CVS's, Walgreens, things of that nature, some of your local convenience stores as well. Kabang Energy Candy. Looking out on track, and the track is getting uh, a little bit lighter. We do see three, four cars here on screen right now, but there's only about another two out of there on track as we get closer to the seven and a half minute remaining mark. We're going to break away for just a small commercial break. We will be right back before we head back down track side once again for the playing of the national anthem so don't go anywhere ladies and gentlemen we will be right back here on turn three racing network if you want to take your business or your iRacing car to the next level, check out Miller Media and Design. They strive to offer high-quality graphic art from anything, from logos for your business to skins for your iRacing simulations. They can do it all. Check them out on Facebook at Miller Media and Design, proud sponsor of the Pro Late Model Dirt Series. Growing up as a kid in Oklahoma, where I'm from, the Chili Bowl is the biggest race that we have. The Chili Bowl has kind of been my favorite race of the year. Growing up a dirt racer in Oklahoma, that's kind of the Holy Grail.
live at the track USA International Speedway round two of Speed Weeks presented by American Racer Tires. It's the Pro Late Model Series powered by Torque Graphics here on Turn 3 Racing Network. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Dave Whirl up here in the booth bringing you all the great action here from a track side tonight these pro late model series drivers going to put on one well if i might be frank one hell of a show that is for sure last week did not did not disappoint this week i don't believe they will be able to disappoint as as they did in last week and yes that's right you're seeing it right under the lights short track saturday night style there's gonna be slide jobs throwing it wide they're gonna slide it up right next through that cushion there you see right there in that hot lap Ooh, close little moment there for Patton coming off a of turn four and this is gonna be one heck of a show only about two and a half minutes remaining before we get the field set for our Kabang Energy Candy fastest qualifier. Who's going to go out there and grab that pole position this week? Will we have a repeat pole sitter? Will Chase Wascom be able to go up there and grab that fastest qualifier once again? Then we'll get set to head off into our two heat races before we get a brief warm-up and in to tonight's feature event. It is going to be one hell of a night. Looking down from the flag stand, right down the front stretch and into turn four there you see them drivers getting getting mad crazy on the exit there that i believe that was the 34 of eric lewis and that may be the 15 of jacob lassiter right there those are the only two drivers on a track not able to really make out which one it is and yes, th this is the 34 of Eric Lewis right there down on the bottom of the track. He's going to go ahead and bring his late model back to the pits as Jacob Lassiter, who is sitting on top of the speed charts right now in hot laps as we've got just under one minute remaining before we get things set to kick off. We're going to fire this thing on off right. We're going to head down track side for our national anthem ladies and gentlemen don't go anywhere we will be right back oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what's so bright Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rackets Yeah. 
back at the track once again, timing a little bit off drivers right out there on the track. As qualifying opens right on up, gonna show you the 33 of Brian Muskell Jr. as he makes his way around this track. Trying to take away the Kabang Energy Candy. Fastest qualifier. Looks like Brian Muskell Jr. struggling just a little bit. We'll jump back with the 311 of Justin Holt as he tries to go take the provisional pole away from Brian Muskell Jr. sitting on top of the chart right now. Brian Voiles also out there in his 41 machine. He's trying to go up there and steal that top spot away. Looks like Jacob Lasseter not turning in a lap just yet. The nine of Travis Smith not on track yet. Lasseter goes to the top of the board. We'll jump up here with him for his second time lap as he's got a almost a tenth. Oh, and Travis Smith right there on his, well, right there on his, yeah. Lasseter going to cross the line. Where will Smith shake out this time by? We'll have to wait and see. Travis Smith coming to the stripe. Does he got enough to take away that top spot? No, he doesn't actually going to lose a spot. Let's see who's also out there on track. The 37 of Brian McDaniel out there on track as well. He's down into turn number one for his first timed lap. Nice, clean looking machine right there. And Chase Wascom back to the top of the charts once again. He is going to walk away with today's Kabang Energy Candy fastest qualifier. Hats off to him and his crew getting the job done. My, my, my qualifying done and over with very, very fast. Walking away with the Kabang Energy Candy fastest qualifier here today. Once again is Chase Wascom. Gonna get that on out of the way. Clear some things on out as we get ready for heat number one. Looks like drivers slowly starting to get gridded up, get ready to go. So we will bring you your heat one starting lineup. Inside row number one, your Kabang Energy Candy fastest qualifier, second week in a row, the 21 of Chase Wascom. Just to his outside, the 91 of Hunter Marvel, starting row number two, the 16 of Dave Wadziger, and the 22 of Brandon Bender. Row number three, here for Heat Race number one, the 311 or the 31 1, however you want to call it. Justin Holt. To his outside will be the 33 of Brian Muskell Jr., row number four. Rookie. On the inside, Trevor Collins in his number seven machine. Lance Yancey right there to his outside. The double O of Dustin Kenyon going to start inside row number five, outside row number five. The 289 of Jeremy Weatherby in bringing up the tail of the field here for heat race number one. The wild child himself, the three of Cody Early. Pace truck getting ready to duck on off, and we will have this thing fired off and ready to go. Heat race number one here in round number two, 2020. Speed Weeks presented by American Racer Tires is getting ready to get fired up. That nice, clean pace truck gonna get ready to duck on off, get on out the way, and we'll get things fired up and ready to go here from Lakeland, Florida at USA International Speedway. Round two of the 2020 Speed Rate Speed Weeks 
And we are Green Flag Racing once again for the Pro Late Model Series, powered by Torx Graphics. Chase Wascom down there on the inside, hugging that concrete wall well and away from the field. He's going to walk away pretty clean here on lap number one. No cautions here in the heat races so drivers have to tiptoe just a little bit extra special justin holt in that 311 sitting there in fourth field looks nice and calm everybody staying calm and collective so far no moves being made this is how your heat race is shaping up so far. Wascom at the top of the chart. Hunter Marvel still right there in second. Wadsgetter in third. Holt in fourth. Bender fifth. Collins in sixth. Your race leader, Chase Wascom. My goodness, he has got himself one heck of a gap right there hugging that little patch of grass coming around the corner and I've got to think if these drivers are already way down there that is going to get torn up pretty fast nonetheless we're going to jump down with an onboard camera here with your race leader Chase Wascom as he makes his way around turn number four back to the front stretch there you can see how much wheel he's gotten in the center Throws it down in there, turning right, 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 right. Never turns left, just straightens it on out. Great on board camera shot provided by Esteban over there at Track Camps for Gromit. Got tons of great. Uh, car cameras, tons of great track cams, whether it be road courses, ovals, dirt, rally, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you what, go hit Esteban up. He will get you straightened out, no doubt. If you're looking for a link or a way to get to him, go ahead, check down there in the description. Click on it, take your right to him. Back at the action on track, your fastest qualifier here today, snatching that Kabang Energy Candy Fastest Qualifier Award once again, second week in a row. Chase Wascom sitting there in the top spot here in heat number one, just behind him, Hunter Marvel. Just behind Hunter Marvel is the 16 of Dave Wadziger as he's got a little bit of creeping up behind him. Justin Holt right there as well as Brandon Bender in his 22 machine. Trevor Collins still sitting in sixth, but a long way away from your race leader, Brian Muskell Jr. behind the eight ball as well as we finish out this first heat race. And Wascom gonna win another heat race. That's two Fastest qualifiers for Wascom. That's also two heat race wins. As things get set and ready to go for Chase, for Chase Race, for Heat Race, number two sitting on the pole position will be. If I could ever get things sorted out, maybe I could tell you, you know what I mean? <laughs> sitting on the pole position for heat race number two brought to you by Damian Patton real estate the 34 of Eric Lewis followed by the nine of Travis Smith row number two here in heat race number two the 15 of Jacob Lassiter followed to his outside by the 54 of Kevin Bloom. Row number three here in heat race number two, the 17 of Justin Sick and the 51 of Damian Patton. Row number four, the 37 of Brian McDaniel and the 51 1 of Justin Gledhill. Row number five, heat race number two, the 41 of Brian Voiles and the 11 of Matthew Setzer. That's it for heat race number two. Your heat race is being brought to you by Damian Patton Real Estate. If you haven't checked out Damian, go over there. Facebook, you can find him. Damian Patton Real Estate. 
Type it on in. Show a brother some love. I'm telling you what, he will surely appreciate it. And we are going to get things set to go racing once again in heat race number two. The 34 of Eric Lewis going to bring this field under green pace truck. Going to duck off this time around. And we will get set to fire off heat race number two here on the turn three racing network. This front row going to be fun to watch, and Lewis gets a great jump on Smith on the outside. Those two are still going to battle it out for position. Travis Smith, oh my goodness, timing and scoring going all sorts of whacked out there for a second. Lewis just in front of Smith, digging on the bottom is Jacob Lassiter. Top two right there, hugging that concrete wall. Almost trouble behind him. Yes, one is going around. Damian Patton well and away. Looks like that was the 15 of Jacob Lassiter. Trouble for Lassiter. The 34 of Lewis still at the front of the field, but he has got a fast, hard-charging Travis Smith right there behind him, nipping at the bud to take away a heat win early in the season. Heat winners last week was Wascom as well as Justin Holt. Going to have a different heat race winner here tonight as well, Wascom has already won heat race number one, and Holt was also in that race, so going to have a different heat race number two winner. Drivers just behind them, mixing it up. Oh, my goodness, that's for third, fourth, fifth. Justin Sick, Kevin Bloom, Ju and Brian McDaniel. Sorry, got a little bit confused which way I was going there. Five laps to go here in heat race number two, and things click off at a very rapid pace here at the... It's a little over a half mile, 0.6 miles to be exact here at USA International Lakeland, Florida. And I'm telling you, these laps go by amazingly fast. The 51-1 of Justin Gledhill still holding strong to that third position, but just in front of them, there you see the gap starting to develop between your top run. Oh, into the wall. Back there was Brian McDaniel into the wall. Jacob Lassiter and his 15 going to go on by. Damian Patton with trouble. Brian Voiles with trouble as well. Drivers coming around to get the one to go here from USA International Speedway. Lewis has the spot. Smith digging hard after it. Final corner of heat race number two. Smith throws it in deep. Not going to be able to get there on exit. And Lewis is going to walk away with heat race win number two. Hats off to all of them fellas. Heck of a job out there in those heat races. And things are only about to get better as we get things set to go for our feature race here tonight. Things going to fire off momentarily. We're going to step away for a brief moment. Don't go anywhere though, ladies and gentlemen. As always, we will be right back with all the live action here from USA International Speedway.
Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us here on Turn 3 Racing Network. Once again, I am the man in the booth, David Whirl, up here calling all of the great racing action. And we are going to get set to uh, get a few words in with some of your heat race winners. We've had the chance and opportunity to catch up with not only heat race number one winner, but also... The Kabang Energy Candy fastest qualifier for two weeks in a row now. Chase Wascom, how you doing, bud? Might be having a little bit of audio. Oh, you God. got me? Yes, sir. I got you. All right, bud. How you doing? How's the car feeling out there? Man, it feels like a dream. Coming out and winning both Heat 1 uh, last week and this week in the 2020 Speed Week Weeks. It's got to make you feel good, but you, you're gunning for that win, I'm for sure, huh? Oh, yeah. It definitely feels good. Just sitting duck now, sitting in the front, though. That's the only bad thing. Well, I mean, it, one good thing is you, you, you might be able to fire off and get another gap like you did there at the beginning of heat race number one. What can we expect out of the track? Do you think it's going to change a whole lot? How did it, uh, how did it react during a hot lap? Yeah, it's going to change a lot. You're going to see a very big slick spot there in the middle. The bottom's going to come in a little bit, but it's going to be mainly the top there for a while and it's going to be too groove, but it's going to be a big change for the feature. All right, my man. Well, once again, congratulations on the Kabang Energy Candy Fastest Qualifier Award once again and your win in heat race number one. Before we let you go, Chase, you want to give any shout-outs, uh, special thank yous, love yous, anything like that? Uh, special thanks to uh, Milner Media and Design for the paint, and shout-out to Uncle Tim for watching. All right, well, good luck, elbows up. Yes, sir. That was your... Winner of heat race number one. Now going to see if we can't get in a quick word or two with the driver who won heat race number two. Eric Lewis, this is Dave. You got a copy? I hear you. My man uh, got the job done there in heat race number two. Uh, were you ever concerned with Smith being right there on your bumper? Yeah, he was really moving in there the last couple laps there and thought he might make the pass there towards the end, but luckily I pulled it off. All right, my man. Well, f we've got a different heat race number two winner here tonight, and that is you uh, as opposed to last week. Uh, anything special you did in qualifying to uh, give yourself a better shot at winning heat race number two here tonight? No, I didn't really do anything special, just... Uh... Held at the floor as much as I could. I didn't get to practice much this week, so I wasn't really expecting to be this high. All right there, Eric. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to come up here and speak to me in a booth before uh, you get set for the feature. But before we let you go, would you like to give any special thanks, shout-outs, love yous, I do's, anything like that? Nah, I just appreciate all the family support. All right, my man. Well, good luck and elbows up. That was the driver of the 37 machine, Eric Lewis, getting the job done in heat race number two. Going to start outside pole now with Chase Wascom starting to his inside and man, oh, man. It's about to get nuts. I'll tell you that much. We're going to break for just a moment. Don't go anywhere, though. We'll be right back. If you want to take your business or your iRacing car to the next level, check out Miller Media and Design. They strive to offer high-quality graphic art from anything, from logos for your business to skins for your iRacing simulations. They can do it all. Check them out on Facebook at Miller Media and Design, proud sponsor of the Pro Late Model Dirt Series. 
Last week in the Pro League Model Dirt Series, Louisiana native Chase Wascom picked up the inaugural checkered flag with a win at Volusia Speedway Park. Wascom held off Travis Smith and Justin Gledhill to pick up the feature win in the 50-lap main event. Now, the series heads to USA International Speedway, where the high-speed, long straightaways will make for another exciting Wednesday night of action. It's round two of Speed Weeks 2020, presented by American Racer Tires. It's the Pro Late Model Nerd Series, powered by Torque Graphics on the Turn 3 Racing Network, and it starts now. It starts now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us here tonight. And things going to get a little bit exciting for you as the driver is going to give the four wide salute here tonight. Chase Wascom going to lead the field to the green, but the four wide salute is for you, the fans here at the track, the fans at home on YouTube watching around the globe. Things are going to get set and fired off, ready to go. Your starting lineup when everything does get situated. Gonna look a little... Oh, and that is the wrong one. So we'll uh, redo that one. <laughs> Your starting lineup here tonight presented to you by Damian Patton Real Estate. Starting pole position inside row number one. The 21 of Chase Wascom. Just is outside the 34 of Eric Lewis. Followed by the 91 of Hunter Marvel and Travis Smith. Row number three, the 16 of Dave Wadziger. Followed by the 51, one of Justin Gledhill. Four wide, baby. Gotta love it. Row number four, the 31, one of Justin Holt and the 54 of Kevin Bloom. Row number five, the 22 of Brandon Bender. Look at that four wide salute. Gah. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, a little bit of tag in there. The 17 of Justin Sick gonna round out your top 10. Starting inside row number 6, the 7 of Trevor Collins, followed by the 37 of Brian McDaniel. Row 7, Brian Muskell Jr. and Jacob Lassiter. Row number 8, Jeremy Weatherby and Matthew Setzer. Row number 9, Dustin Kenyon and Brian Voiles. Row number 10, Cody Early and Damian Patton. Row number 11, shotgun of the field, the 77 of Lance Yancey. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can get things set to fire off. Here in round number two of Speed Weeks 2020, presented by American Racer Tires. Pace car is down and away. Wascom has the field in hand. And we are green flag racing once again in the Pro Late Model Series here on Turn 3 Racing Network. Field into turn one, well in a way, no issues, no troubles. Field getting their way through turn number two. Looks like we had a little bit of trouble out of that 37 of Brian McDaniel, but he stays rolling, stays heading in the right direction. Battle up at the front for third and fourth position. Raging on right now. Wasger as caution has come out on the track, and it looks like well, things jumping around on me. Looks like maybe that may have involved Cody early in his three machine. Cody, very slow at the back of the pack right now. There you see Cody. No, and actually I believe that may have been Matthew Setzer right there. Driver of that 11 with some trouble. The Grave Digger looking a little bit beaten on that right side already here tonight as he catches back up to Lance Yancey and Damian Patton just in front of him. Meanwhile, back at the front of the field. And man, oh man, timing and scoring here on the dirt tracks gets really whacked out sometimes, especially under caution. It jumps around all over the board. However, we do know that the fifth, the 21, I, I don't know why I called him the 15. That is Jacob Lassiter, who's the 15. The 21 of Wascom right there, still on, on top of the board. Going to lead the field back to green flag racing once again. Eric Lewis in the 34, just behind him. Do apologize for Eric. Called him the 37 earlier, but, you know, what's... 
What's a dark side Dave day without a mistake? You know what I mean? Great, great camera shots once again provided by Esteban Tracks. Track cams by Gromits. You can check them out down in the description. Link is down there. Check them out. Head on over there and I promise you, you will not be disappointed with any package you may get or see awesome, awesome content. Whether it's track cams or car cams, road courses, ovals, dirt, racing, rally, whatever you want. He's got it. Go check out my man over there, Esteban, doing a great job. Pace truck away and we're back. Green flag racing once again. Wascom with a great restart that time by Eric Lewis with some issues just behind. Has Hunter Marvel right on his rear quarter. Travis Smith right there trying to duck his nose just inside of Marvel as well. We'll head down a little closer to the track. Oh, the 91 with some trouble. He gets it right it headed in the right direction. My goodness. Your top four down there digging on the bottom of the track. We'll go a little further back through the field as we've got a wad of cars back here. Seventh all the way through 12th, all within a half a second of each other. And there you see a little bit of a slide job there by the seven on the 22 of a Brandon Bender. Collins going to take that ninth position away. Force Bender back to 10th. Brian Miskell Jr. just behind them. Nothing going on back up at the front. Your race leader, Chase Wascom, has got a 1.2 second lead over the field. And I tell you what, we'll go ahead and give you a little bit of run. Oh, contact into the wall. And around goes the seven. No back around. We stay green. Oh, more cars involved. Caution comes out now. More calls, cars involved. My goodness. Is Travis Smith involved? I believe Smith is involved. Went from running at the front of the field. We've got to back this up for a second. See what happened. Ooh. Tough break. One more look at it here. And you see Smith hanging it out. Getting into the wall. Then contact with the 51-1. Back contact again. More contact. Gets hung up. Down into some more cars. And then just carnage. Oh my goodness. Cars just everywhere. Nowhere to go for a lot. Oh my god. That was flipping. If you know me and you know my good buddy, that was just flipping. He understands the point in that one. Oh my, my goodness. Meanwhile, back at the front of the field. Back up live with your race leader. And I know it says the 15 on the side of his car. That's probably where I got... A little mistake in there. Custom paint number there for Chase Wascom. He is being scored as the 21, though. Damian Patton down in the pits as we speak. Tough, tough break for Damian Patton. A rough second week in a row here for him in the 2020 Speed Weeks. Presented by American Racer Tires. I tell you what, these pro late model series drivers powered by Torqued Graphics, Milner, Milner Media in Design, as well as Kabang Energy Candy. Gonna get set to fire things off once again. We'll head off and take lap number six out of 50 scheduled here tonight. No. Caution laps do not count. We're doing this the right way. The short track Saturday night fever way. And we'll get set to go back racing once again. Those pace Lights are off and back. Green flag racing as Wascom jumps on the gas. Hunter Marvel follows through in second. That's going to put Lewis back to third. Big slide by Justin Sick. 
A lot of drivers involved. Brian Muskell Jr., the 51 won. The 289 flipping is the 16. We'll take another look back here with Brian Muskell Jr. on this restart. See how everything unfolded. My, my goodness. Everybody seemed to get well and away on the green flag. There you see Miskel Jr. going through and up in front of him. Nowhere to go. And then drivers just flipping everywhere. Heavy damage for Lassiter. As the pace car, or pace truck, I should say, runs over Brian Miskel Jr., we will rejoin your race leaders up at the front of the field. Chase Wascom doing a fine job so far, leading every lap here tonight. Says he's only led three laps, but ladies and gentlemen, he's led the entire time, um, all six laps. Timing and scoring gets a little loopy here on the dirt tracks uh, for some reason. Not quite sure. In the 289, hmm, not showing up over there in the drop-down graphics, and that is Jeremy Weatherby. Very uh, interesting that he wouldn't be showing up there, but does uh, everywhere else. So we'll try to address that problem next week. Nothing I can do about that right now. Uh, but, you know, we'll make do, like we always do. Here on Turn 3 Racing Network, do want to say thank you to each and every one of you out of there joining us tonight for the Pro Late Model Series powered by Tort Graphics. We do appreciate each and every one of you that come out each and every racing night here on Turn 3 Racing Network, whether it's myself, Muth in the booth, the outlaw, KR Stolfus, Big Al, Rick Hammond, Chris Lagu. I probably butchered that, didn't I, Chris? <laughs> Back green flag racing. Oh, my goodness. That was a little crazy. We had cars in front of the field. Wasn't quite sure what was going on there. And looks like Lance Yancey somehow has inherited this race lead. Travis Smith now being scored as your leader after flipping just a few laps ago. Smith with a big gap back to Lance Yancey, who is in front of Justin Gledhill. Chase Wascom somehow has lost the race lead. And there you see him right there running in fourth. Has Hunter Marvel just behind him. Field looks like they have spread out pretty well here so far as we are on lap number nine out of 50. And I, I cannot... Caution is out once again on the track. I don't know what or how as the driver has already made his way on the pit road. So we will rejoin the race with your race leader, Travis Smith. Going to catch up to the pace truck. And that that restart really was something because I was I was still under the impression that nobody had passed chase wascom for the race lead maybe wascom went down on the pit road to uh, fix some damage or something not quite sure gonna have to get some confirmations about that a little bit later on if we can but for now we will continue to just keep soldiering on as we always do see this is a very interesting Yeah, and uh, I am just not sure what the timing and scoring is going nuts on me here. So it's it's kind of hard. Now Travis Smith being pushed to the back of the field. 
So that's going to give Chase Wascom back the race lead. There must have been something faulty there with timing and scoring that put Travis Smith in front of the field. I thought it was a little bit, a little bit uh, sketchy, if if that's the right word, for Smith to be up there leading the race after flipping through the air two incidents ago. While the cars work their way under caution, gonna have to do a little bit of cleanup and reporting looks like 21 drivers took to the grid here tonight. We still have 20 drivers out there running the only driver off track and packing his car back up to go home is that 31-1 of Justin Holt. So last week's Heat race winner of heat race number two, not having as good of a night here tonight. Driver having just as good of a night. The man at the point. That 21 of Chase Wascom, Wascom has been on an absolute tear the past two weeks. And we get back green flag racing once again as Wascom fires off on the loud pedal. Lot of dust flying into turn number one. Field gets through one very well. No issues, no mishaps as we head to turn three. Big gap back to second as the battle is now for second and third. Marvel on the high side. Justin Sick digging down bottom. Trying to take the spot away. Can he do it right there? Digging on exit. Back down the front stretch and in. No, I'm sorry. That was actually the back stretch. Giving up a little ground now to Marvel is sick. Sick going to try to slide back up there to the top side. Just in front of that 34 of Eric Lewis. And we've got a little bit of blinky blinky out of Hunter Marvel. So we'll click back here. Right there and keep our eye on this 17 of Justin Sick as he tries to take that second spot away. Not able to do it just yet. Eric Lewis still going to sit in fourth. Further back through the field, here he is. The wild child trying to run down Trevor Collins. Jeremy Weatherby just behind him. Driver making his way up through the field though. Travis Smith is on a tear to get back to the front of the field. There you see him right there just behind Dave Wadziger as they try to run down Lassiter Weatherby in early. Drivers tearing up the track. There you see the cushion being pushed a little more. Oh, Brian Muskell Jr. with some trouble. Looks like he's coming off of pit road. Brian McDaniel with issues as well. So we'll back this up one time. Take a look at it with our turn three replay. Everything seems okay right now. And oh, Mikel Jr. gets loose into the wall. No, oh my God! Another car flipping. Mikel Jr. rolls over the pit wall. Oh my God! One more look at that. That was phenomenal. Oh my. I give it a 10. That was tight rotation. Great. Great flip there from Miskel Jr. Take a look at it one time from the blimp into the outside wall and then boom. Whoo, what a ride. Field gonna... Well, most of the field going to stay on a track. Brian Miskell Jr. having to bring his car back down a pit lane. So we will rejoin the field up at the front with your race leader, Chase Wascom, as he continues to try to dominate tonight's race. Round number two in the 2020 Speed Weeks presented by American Racer Tire. We are at USA International Speedway in Lakeland, Florida, live here on Turn 3 Racing Network, lap 14. Out of the scheduled 50 here in tonight's race distance, 37 laps remaining 
before we can crown a race winner here tonight and things are all over the board have very fast drivers up there at the front but we do have some fast drivers in the back trying to make their way back up through the field travis smith damian Patton, lance yancey all outside of the top 10 trying to make their way back to the front of this field Pace car away, Wascom's on the loud pedal once again. And I tell you what, what a great way for him to restart. Gets a good gap already and he's gone in a way. Justin Sick now still digging, trying to make that bottom line work. Not working just yet, Marvel gonna slot in second. A little further through the field, Cody Early trying to run down Trevor Collins. Brandon Bender just in front of them. Drivers all sliding it up to the wall, and you can see the dust flying. The paint jobs are disappearing on these pro late model series drivers as it looks like a mini tornado. Look at all of the dust and smoke in the air. Back at the front, no troubles for the man running at the front of the field. Chase w Wascom doing a fine job yet again, trying to walk away with a back-to-back -back speed weeks here in season number one of four. The Pro Late Model Series, and my, my goodness, it has been one heck of a show so far. Things still unfolding before our eyes as Chase Wascom tries to do what he had done last week. Take the Kabang Energy Fastest Qualifier Award. Win heat race number one. Then come out here and win the feature. Green flag laps. Getting done right here. Heck of a slide up through turn three and four there for your oh into the wall. A little bit is Marvel. No harm, no foul. He stays clean. Gonna go back through the field a little bit further as we've got some small battles beginning to develop. Travis Smith has made his way inside the top ten now to the eighth spot. Caution is out. Lance Yancey involved in this one, I do believe. We'll take one look back here with our turn three replay. Had to back it up a little bit further. Sorry about that. Looks like the double O. Oh, a little bit of net code actually getting that 77. No contact actually made by the double O. So... No harm, no foul there, but when you're the driver inside the car, you, you, you kind of feel like you got done dirty. Just saying. Going to rejoin the field up at the front with your race leader once again, Chase Wascom, as he continues to lead tonight. That's kind of redundant, is it? Going to go up with our leader as he continues to lead. Yeah, I didn't think that one through very well, did I? There you can see the changing, the transition of the track that I was speaking about. There you see that inside lane where where most of your front run runners, Wascom, Marvel, Sick, Lewis, all of them trying to use that bottom lane. And it is going to get slicked up. There you see all the rubber built up on the entry Two very distinct running lines already showing here at USA International Speedway. Pace truck lights gonna go off this time by and we will get set once again to fire things off with Wascom as he continues to lead the field. There you go. Some great shots of his car as he continues to lead tonight's race. Gonna go on board here. With a few of the drivers actually going to step back through the field. Going to end up, I don't know, let's go with about the 5th or 6th place. Going to throw a little further back actually. Going to go on board with that 9 of Travis Smith sitting in the ninth spot.
before we do, let's give you a good restart. You know what I mean? Let's not start it from there. Yeah. Cars back under green as Wascom gets another great restart. Travis Smith right there. Trying to take yet another spot away. Here we go back down on board and you can see all of the action unfolding before your eyes. The 7 just in front of him. The 54 of Kevin Bloom. Not too far away. Smith trying to run that bottom lane. Getting a little bit of a push from behind from another driver. Oh my and things going nutso. So let's get out of that one. Field continues under green flag, and my goodness, I don't think Travis Smith could get any closer to that inside wall. Eric Lewis struggling just a little bit with the 22 just behind him. Travis Smith right there as well, just in front of them. Justin Sick, Hunter Marvel. Chase Wascom has got almost a one-second race lead now. There you see the distance as Sick and Marvel continue to battle. Field continues around this very short, high speed track. Very long straightaways can get the car going uh, at a pretty good speed. And then you got these sharp hairpin-esque corners to get the thing woed up, rotated around, and whack him. My goodness, he threw that thing down into turn three. Out of turn four, Justin Sick able to take away that second position. Now he's going to try to work his way up to the rear of Wascom if he can. Eric Lewis slotting in fourth. Travis Smith now back up to fifth. Make it fourth. Digging for another spot up into third. Smith continues to try to catch up, trying to click him off. I thought he was making the pass for third, but that was the pass for fourth. Caution comes out once again. I believe Trevor Collins is going to be caught up in this latest incident. He seems to be rolling well and away from the field now, but issues in trouble there for a moment. Field back under caution here tonight as we work lap 27 out of 50. 24 laps remaining in round number two of the 2020 Speed Weeks presented to you by American Racer Tires. It's the Pro Late Model Series powered by Torque Graphics. Your number one motor sports apparel company. Get torqued. Get noticed. Gonna take a look through the timing and scoring once things settle on out. Try to see who is your 107 tire in service center rookie of the year top runner. Shout out special thank you to 107 tire in service center for coming on board sponsoring the rookie of the year here in the pro late model series. Heck of a job by those Guys and gals stepping up, making the commitment to this to the series to sponsor the rookie of the year. That's right. 107 Tire in Service Center. Race leader Wascom waiting for the pace lights to go out once again. We will get set to go back 
green flag racing. And speaking of the rookie of the year, looks like the 51 of Damian Patton riding in the top spot for the rookie of the year. So if the race were to end right now, he would be accredited with that 107 tire and service center point for being your top running rookie. Wascom down and away. Green flag back in the air. And my goodness, Travis Smith to the inside. Smith with a big move into turn number one. Trying to take that third spot away. Not going to do it. Here comes the 22. Bender trying to make a run on the inside. Wadziger also there. Chase Wascom right there as well. Now battle between Sick and Wascom. Marvel and Smith are battling. Two, three battles going on at a time. Looks like we've got some connection issues with a few bodies. But everything looks to be pretty stable on our end. We'll recheck and double check some things really quick. As we stay green flag racing once again here on Turn 3 Racing Network. Oh, and there goes. And everything seems seems to be fine over here. So not quite sure if it's a driver or two in the field. But we're going to continue to do what we do. Travis Smith right there blinking on the bottom. But still getting the job done so far. Back through the field a little bit further. Going to go back here once again. And my goodness, why in the world? And we'll see if we can't take care of something real quick with that. There you go. That's going to do a little bit of something for us for a brief, brief moment. We'll get things rolling and fired back up with that in just a minute as the field stays under green flag racing here at USA International Speedway. Your race leader, Chase Wascom. Still up there at the point. Cody Early, the wild child, driving the wheels off of that number three machine. As we stay under green flag conditions. Chase Wascom, your race leader, one second. Lead over his closest competitor, Justin Sick, made his way up through the field, was patient, but got the job done. He finds himself sitting in the second spot right now as we continue to click off the laps. 17 laps remaining here at USA International Speedway. 30 miles is the total distance. And you would think it'd be a lot further, but this track, man, I tell you what, it can make you feel like you're driving on a, a mile and a half, but, but you're not. I mean, you're truly, truly not. Getting out of the way of the race leader. Giving him a free track, free reign to roam where he wants to. And just staying out of the way of the rest of the field as the 41 of Brian Voiles tries to stay on the lead lap. But will Wascom allow it? Doesn't look like he's going to be able to stay on that lead lap a little bit into the wall there as Hunter Marvel starting to heat up. Things with Justin Sick as we are just now to 15 laps remaining here in round number two for the 2020 Speed Weeks, presented by American Racer Tire and Travis Smith involved in an incident. Smith involved. The 22 goes around. My, my, my. Things change here very, very rapidly on the dirt. We'll go back. Well, nah, we'll, we'll just stick it out right here with your race leader. As you can see, that entry that dark, dark, slicked up, almost blackish line. Not only is it getting wider, but it is getting darker here at USA International Speedway in Lakeland, Florida. Live for the Pro Late Model Series, powered by Torque Graphics. Torque Graphics, number one motorsports apparel company. Get torqued. Get noticed.
And while we find ourselves under our latest caution, going to step away for just a brief commercial break, pay a little bills, we'll be back with all your live action here on Turn 3 Racing Network. Kabang Energy Candy contains 100% of vitamins B6, B12, and C, plus ginseng. And the best part is no caffeine. Kabang Energy Candy is sold everywhere, including participating Walgreens. Kabang Energy Candy, it's bangalicious. Bang, bang, things getting ready to get started once again. Chase Wascom, your race leader, gonna get things fired back off. Less than 15 laps remain. Here in tonight's race from USA International Speedway for round number two of the 2020 Speed Weeks presented by American Racer Tires. And I don't think we've seen the last of the heated up action here tonight. I think we are in for a treat in these final few laps. Restart going to be very, very important for Chase Wascom, if he wants to walk away as round number two winner, Wascom walked away with round one under his belt here in the 2020 Speed Weeks. And then we get things a little bit of a break. And then we will be firing back off just like Wascom just did. We're back. Green flag racing once again here from USA International Speedway. Wascom down into turn one. No problems. No issues. Everybody through one and two. Very good. Wascom with the race lead. Travis Smith now running in third. Smith is on his way. Can he get there? Does he have enough time? Gonna keep an eye right here with Travis Smith, Justin Sick, and Hunter Marvel as this is one of the closest battles on track. Them three drivers almost coming together. Marvel to the bottom, Smith to the top. Great run off the corner by Smith, and that's going to leave Marvel struggling off of two. Can Smith go up there and battle with Sick now to take over that second spot? Looking through the field a little bit. Looks like Justin Gledhill back here heating things up with Cody Early. Jeremy Weatherby right there as well. The 15 of Jacob Lasseter. Kevin Bloom also in that mix. Early looking for a way around but not able to find it. High, wide, and handsome. Pushing that cushion up there is Early. 34 still dealing with the 51-1 of Justin Gledhill. Not able to get by him just yet. High side not there for the momentum as Gledhill going to throw it down into turn number one. Battle still continue to rage up here at the front. Second and third closing in on your race leader. Two wide into one. Smith on the bottom. Sick at the top. Sick with the run off the corner. He's going to pass him on by Smith. Digging once again. Does he throw it in? Nope. He's going to stay to the high side one more time. Try to see if he can't chase down that 17 of Justin Sick as your race leader. Chase Wascom has walked away now to almost a one-second race lead. Going to go back through the field a little bit further. Drop your running order down. We are watching the three of Cody Early as he makes his way around the track. Going to go up just a little bit further in the field. Highlight Dave Wadziger as he has had a great run so far sitting inside that top five in that fifth position right now. Hats off to Wadziger as he has had a phenomenal race here so far. Six laps remaining for your race leader, the 21 of Chase Wascom. No troubles, no issues, nothing in front of him. Battle is just behind him for second. Smith and Sick going at it lap after lap as we got a driver pulling off a pit road. That seems to be the 41 of Brian Voiles. Caution is out. 
Not gonna find it. Looks like Voiles is all right. He did come out of pit road, and I think that's going to put him one lap down. However, we will stay with your race leader as we have only got five laps remaining. Here at USA International, and things gonna get wild and crazy as we get to the end of tonight's race. Do want to take a moment to say thank you, all of you, each and every one of you out there watching on YouTube for coming out and joining not only myself, but all these race drivers out here on track. If you haven't already, throw them a thumbs up. Click the subscribe, smash the bell over there on the right-hand side. Get notified anytime we go live here on Turn 3 Racing Network with all of not only your dirt track fix, but we got asphalt too, whether it be myself, Muth in the booth, the outlaw, K.R. Stolfus, Chris, Rick, Big Al, Danny, whether it's any of those other guys, great content. Day after day here on the Turn 3 Racing Network. And without you you guys, without you viewers, it wouldn't be possible. Do want to take a moment to, uh, to say thank you. Back to the action on track. Pace truck lights will go out this time by. We will get set. To see who can walk away with the win here in round number two of the 2020 Speed Weeks. Presented to you by American Racer Tires. Chase Wascom, your Kabang Energy Candy fastest qualifier. Your Heat 1 winner. Gonna have control of the field this time by... Can he get the job done? Sick is right there. Will he make a move? Will he slide job? Will he dive bomb? We'll have to wait and see. Travis Smith going to line up third. Fourth will be Hunter Marvel. Dave Wadziger rounding out that top five. Pace car down and away. Field back under green flag racing once again as Chase Wascom not getting to a great start this time. He's got sick right there. Travis Smith digging on the top. Big run through one and two. Smith's got the advantage down the back stretch. He's going to slot in second on entry to three. Still running on that high side trying to get the job done. Now sick looking to slide job. Not going to happen. Smith at the line. Battle is raging for second and that is what Wascom has got to love in his rear view. Close racing. They make their way by now. Ken Smith run down Wascom. Three laps remaining, but there's a half a second between them. I'm not sure that Smith has got it in that nine machine to go up there and take that top spot away from Wascom. But what a story it would be. And oh, almost around goes the 54 of Kevin Bloom as he had to check up a little bit and not get in. To the side of the 17 of Justin Sick, who has found himself falling from second all the way back to fifth. And caution once again. Caution has come out and oh my. This changes everything. Three laps remaining. Who will get the job done? Can Wascom seal the deal? Will Smith come steal the show? Driving from the rear after flipping on the front stretch. The nine of Smith and his crew beaten, banged real fast. Got that car back out there and he has driven his way back through the field, back into the second position. But this is it. This is for all the chips, all the marbles. You got to throw it, when in doubt, throttle out, get that thing sideways and kick them out, son. It's time to go. We are going to finish this thing on 
out the right way hardcore dirt track racing action here from USA International Speedway for the Pro Late Model Series powered by Torque Graphics. Pace truck lights will go out this time by and Ken Wascom get a good jump or Will Smith jump all over him. We'll have to wait and see. I can't wait. I know you can't either. This is going to be one heck of a ride to the finish. Looking back from the pace truck at the 21 of Chase Wascom as he gets set to fire things off once again. Pace truck will make the left hand turn. There it goes. And away we go. Green flag once again here in Lake Glen, Florida at USA International Speedway. Little bit of a wiggle out of Wascom. Is that what Travis Smith needs? Into the wall with the right rear. Caution back out here on the track as we have two laps remaining. And that is the type of restart that Wascom needs to get the job done. If he can get another restart just like that, he will be able to seal the deal in my opinion. As Wascom slides his way through the pace truck, he has seen the back end of that Chevy quite often here tonight. And just look at the difference. That's the difference in leading the race and racing through the race. Look at the front end of that 21 machine. It is almost pristine and clean as Travis Smith you can hardly see half of the white and decals on that car as he has been back through the field dealing with the dust storm, making his way up through the field. And he has arrived. He is knocking on the door, but will Wascom open that door, allow the opportunity. i tell you what, if it was me, I'd... Sure would not do it. Travis Smith has put on one heck of a show driving back through the field here tonight. Going to go ahead and give you some of your running order, your top five as they sit right now. Chase Wascom sitting on top of the charts. Travis Smith in second. Hunter Marvel in third. Dave Wadziger in fourth and in fifth. The 17 of Justin Sick. Kevin Bloom going to be in 6th, Justin Gledhill 7th, Eric Lewis 8th, ninth, Jeremy Weatherby and rounding out your top 10, your top running rookie Trevor Collins. And we're going to have a battle for the top rookie finisher as Damian Patton sitting right there in the 51 just behind Collins. So we've got a battle for the race win and a battle for the top running rookie of the year here today. I'm not sure who's going to walk away the winner of either one, but I'm sure it's going to be a hell of a show. Travis Smith not getting a good jump. Wadziger well in a way. My, my goodness, that is absolutely the type of lap that Wadziger needed as we have got the one to go back around this time. We'll seal the deal here for Wascom at USA International Speedway. Wascom through. And around Smith digging, but not able to get there. Checkered flag flies. Chase Wascom once again, your race winner here for round two of the 2020 Speed Wakes presented by American Racer Tire. And ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We'll allow Wascom to uh, get his car where he needs it, where he likes it. Get him a few pictures on screen. There you go. There you go. Great job by Wascom. 
but we're going to step away. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that last little section there did not have the desktop audio, so I do apologize about no car sounds, but you did hear the great calls from me, haha. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to step away from the track for just a brief moment. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We will be right back with your post-race interviews here on Turn 3 Racing Network. I'm racing you, one of the best. You got them for a breast. Often imitated, never duplicated. The greatest show on dirt, the world of outlaws. Are you wanting your business to stand out? Well, now is the time to get torqued. Torque Graphics in Greenville is your one-stop shop for everything in the graphic design world. Josh Myers can take your business to the next level. Torque Graphics specializes in screen printing for your business, your hobby, or just you. Torque Graphics can even take care of all your motorsports needs. For top quality products, affordable pricing, and great customer service, call Torque Graphics today. Backtrack side here at USA International Speedway for the Pro Late Model Series powered by Torque Graphics. And the man on screen is going to be the first man we are able to get in a few words with. Driver finishing in the third position here tonight after a hard fart, fall, blah, 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 if I could talk, hard fault battle all race long. The 91 of Hunter Marvel Hunter, you got a copy? Sir. Hey, hey, my man, yeah, you had some great battles up there at the front, second, third. You swapped that position around a few times through tonight's feature. How was the track and how was the car? It was pretty good. It changed all night and it was a pretty good setup we had rolling. Walking into uh, the feature from the heat races, did you, did you have any concerns at having to run the, the 50 lapper? Um, after some of the things that went on in the uh, heat races. I was just worried about looking at the back of Chase's car more. <laughs> Other than that, now, it was, I have to feel pretty good. All right, my man. Well, you've had a pretty decent uh, speed weeks here, round one and round two, now in the books for for uh, the Pro Late Model Series. Going to have uh, a week off. Is that going to give you any more time to prepare, or are you just going to kind of kind of ease off a little bit and get a little breather before we get back to, to racing? Yeah, I'll get after it and prepare for next week, or the following week. Try to keep the rust knocked off. All right, my man. Well, you've got a lot of dirt to knock off the side of that car. Can barely see that MWR on there, man. But a heck of a show, heck of a race for you. Congratulations once again on your third place finish here today. Uh, before I let you go, though, Hunter, you want to give any shout outs, thank yous, love yous, anything like that? Uh, just shout out to the sponsors. But thanks, man. Have a good one. There you have it. Just a few words. From Driver finishing in the third position here today, Hunter Marvel, and I believe we are now going to have the opportunity to talk to the the very dirty, once again, number nine of Travis Smith. Almost getting the job done, not quite getting there, but you had one heck of a run through the field, my man. How you doing? Uh, ran a little hot. Uh, I don't... I, I don't know how it is running after you flipped and flew. That mo- was flipping. <laughs> yeah, I uh, got used up for the second week in a row down there in turn one. Pretty sure the same guy. But uh, got me back there. got bounced around a little bit. And I, I think we started wrecking in turn one. And I think I finished wrecking in turn one on the next lap. So, yeah, just got... 
trying to get out of the way, keep it on the wall, and had it stop to avoid another wreck and got hit in the back and flipped over. But yeah, thank God for fast repairs and this iron racing stuff. So we got her fixed up. Oh man, it, it was a, a pleasure to watch you out there on track tonight, making your way back through the field. Glad it is I racing and uh, not real life, because I think you probably would have beat the helicopter to the hospital. But nonetheless, walking away with a second place man can't be mad about that. No, that was a uh, that was a lot of fun. I know there's a lot of bad things went on in the race, but uh, for me, I had a ball, dude. You know, you just kind of you come down straight away and you. You got the guy in front of you. You got to kind of anticipate what he's going to do. It's a guessing game, you know. You kind of your right foot's got to outsmart the guy in front of you, so you see where he's going. You got to really like a split decision there with your foot to get off the gas on the brake and get it to the bottom, or just stay in it, get to the top. And it was man, it's a lot of fun doing that. You know, I hit the cushion a couple times, rolled the bottom there a couple got times, and. Uh, Really fun, huh? I mean, we got up beside the 17 for a second a couple times there off the bottom when it was gone away, just trying to get some bite down there in the grass, but uh, a lot, a lot of fun. All right, my man. Well, once again, congratulations on yet another second place finish here in the Pro Late Model Series powered by Torque Graphics. Before we let you go, though, Travis, would you like to give any shout outs, thank yous, love yous, anything like that? Yeah, shout out to all the viewers. Come on and watch. I hope y'all have fun. It's as much fun as I did, and a uh, shout out to Dryden, uh Priority Aviation for jumping on board this week, uh, KLR, and uh, Wildwood Barbecue. Couldn't do it without you guys. There you have it, though. That was some few final parting words from the driver walking away in second place here tonight, but more importantly... And oh my goodness, did we lose his car? I think we've lost his car, ladies and gentlemen. None, nonetheless, driver finishing in a first place here tonight. Chase Wascom doing a hell of a job walking away once again as your race winner. Chase, you got a copy, brother? Yeah, I got you. Hey, my man, you, you repeated history. You won the Kabang Energy Candy Fastest Qualifier. You went out and won your heat. Now you go out and win the race. That's two weekends in a row. Do you think you got what it takes inside of that 21 slash 15? I'm not sure which number you really are. <laughs> but uh, do, do you think that gives you any advantage, or do you think you got to dig even harder to prove that it wasn't a fluke? I'm going to dig a little harder with that 15, and uh, we'll, we'll make it happen for next time. And takes a little practice. All right, my man. Well, I will keep in mind that you'd like going by the 15. You're shown and scored as the 21, so that got a little uh, confusing for a second, but ah, no no harm, no foul, my man. Uh, great job once again. I know you got your cell phone ringing in the background. People congratulating you left and right. So we're not going to keep you around for too, too long. Uh, before I let you go, though, man, uh, congratulations once again on a great race dominating out there once again before i let you go you want to give any shout outs thank yous love yous oh thank you man appreciate that uh shout out to milner media and design for the paint and for you for broadcasting this and Curry for the sleep we got going on and it's awesome man it's uh it takes a lot of practice to kind of get the car where you want it and get familiar with it in the track and when it got slick there i wouldn't I wasn't ready for that to be on the top. I ended up hitting the wall there on lap 42 and thought that cost the night for me, but got it back together. Then the late restart there kind of scared me as well, but went to the bottom so I could stay away from the wall. But all in all, man, thank you all for everything you all do for us. Well, man, we, we do appreciate that. And uh, once again, man, a hell of a job out there tonight. And hope you continue the fast pace uh, as we head off and out of speed week. So, uh, Great job once again, and we'll catch up with you uh, next time on track. Yeah, man. Thank you. There you have it. Those were some final words from your race winner. For round number two in the 2020 Speed Weeks presented by American Racer Tires, Chase Wascom walking away with the race win yet again. And ladies and gentlemen, only thing left for us to do here. 
from Lakeland, Florida is run down. Your finishing order walking away with the top spot. Once again is the 21 of Chase Wascom. Finishing in second once again. The 9 of Travis Smith walking away in third. The 91 of Hunter Marvel after a dismal race last week. Justin Sick. Redemption at hand. Walks away inside the top five, finishing in the fourth spot, rounding out your top five here tonight. The 16 of Dave Wadziger, followed by the 54 of Kevin Bloom. The 51-1 of Justin Gledhill going to walk away in seventh, eighth place goes to the 34 of Eric Lewis. Ninth, the 289 of Jeremy Weatherby. Finishing out your top ten will be the seven of Trevor Collins. Lance Yancey going to finish in 11th in the wild child himself. Cody Early and his three machine going to walk away in the 12th position. 13th will go to the 15 of Jacob Lassiter. 14th, the 11 of Matthew Setzer. The 33 of Brian Miskell Jr. will slot home in the 15th spot, coming home in 16th, the 37 of Brian McDaniel. 17th, the 22 of Brandon Bender, followed by the 51 of Damian Patton. 19th spot goes to the 41 of Brian Voiles. And in 20th, the double O of Dustin Kenyon. Not able to grid here tonight due to some mechanical issues. Walking away 50 laps down the 31-1 of Justin Holton. That will finish out your official running order for tonight's Pro Late Model Series. Powered by Torque Graphics Speed Weeks. Round number two. Presented by American Racer Tire. Here from USA International Speedway, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for joining myself, David Whirl, up in the booth for all of your great racing action week in and week out. And yeah, I mean, there's, there's nothing left to say or do except give you some final parting words, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're slowly starting to see some flattening of the curve. Don't want to get too out there with it, but... Keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe. Stay mindful. Keep the ones you love close because you, you never know what happens in these times. So, uh, yeah, just, just stay safe out there, and we'll catch up with you once again here on the Turn 3 Racing Network. And until then, well, keep the dust flying.